I'm Miss Tara from Fox Valley Flourish Twirling Club, and this is going to be our level one horizontal twirls. There are four different twirls that are considered horizontal or flat versus vertical, and we're going to work on those right now. Our first one, our easiest one, we are going to start with our rope swings. You're going to hold it by the ball out to the side. You're gonna bring the little end, the tip in front of you, you're gonna swing it. One, two, down low, and then you're gonna go one over your head. Let's try that again, it goes. Low, one, two, over the head. Let's try it just a little faster. Six, seven, eight, goes one, two, around, stop. Our second trick we're gonna learn is our neck wrap. This one, it's either gonna be easy or it's gonna be hard. It's okay if it's hard, just keep working on it and it will get easier. You're gonna bring your right arm across in front and you're gonna wrap that arm until the baton sticks out the other side. Now you're gonna take your left hand, reach it on top. A lot of people try to go under and then it's harder to reach. On top, grab the baton in your left hand and then you're gonna pull it out in that left hand. Let's try the neck wrap again. It comes in front and around as far as you can. Grab it in the left, pull it out in the right. Now we're gonna combine it with our rope swings. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna do two down low, one up high, rope swing. One, two, over the top, neck wrap, pull out. Go a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Rope swing. One, two, three, four. Neck wrap. Six, seven, eight. Now, wrist twirls. Flat wrist twirls. We're going to hold the baton. Thumb to ball. Thumb pointing to the big end. And then you're going to turn it to point it out away from you. The big end is always going to be on top of your arm and the little end is always going to be underneath. And you're gonna rotate it. The big end comes towards your left shoulder. In and around. In and around. In and around. And then as it gets easier, you can start doing it faster until you can get some good speed on it. It's gonna start slow and it's gonna feel awkward, but you're gonna get it pretty quickly. And that's your flat wrist twirl in the right hand. It has started to rain, but we're gonna go ahead and do left hand as well. So same thing, left hand thumb to ball, turn it straight out, the big end still goes on top, the little end still comes underneath. This time the big end is still gonna come to your left shoulder. It's gonna go out and around, little end underneath. Big end over, little end under, over, under over, under, and then you get a little bit faster until you're doing it with some pretty good rotation. Now, we are gonna combine all four tricks we just learned. We're gonna start with our right flat wrist twirl. Then, there's a little, you have to let go a little bit to let it slide to the end. We're gonna do our rope swings over the head around and then out in the left hand. Let's try that. Ready? Right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slide it. One, two, three, four, around, six, seven, eight. Flat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our last flat twirl, it's only in the right hand. We start with that um, flat wrist twirl. When you are very comfortable with it, we're gonna add what's called a palm spin. You're gonna open your hand like you're carrying a box of pizza. You want it nice and flat. If your fingers get up like this, you're not gonna be able to get that baton to spin. It's gonna get all tangled up. Nice and flat. So you're doing your flat wrist twirl. When your baton comes over and your palm is up, you're gonna open, it's going to turn, and then you're gonna grab it again and go back into the flat wrist twirl. If you let go when your palm is facing down, 
baton is going to hit the ground. So you want to wait until that palm is up. Then you're going to open, it's going to turn, you're going to grab it, and then you're going to go right back into your flat wrist twirl. I'm going to do it without it stopping this time. You're doing your flat wrist twirl, you're going to open, you're going to close. Let's try it again. And open, close. Keep working on all of these twirls until you can get them nice and smooth and connect one to the next. Instead of doing just one trick, we want to start adding them together and making longer sequences. Good luck.